Welcome to week one of the 2025 Wyoming Cowboys football season. Today's game has the Cowboys traveling to Durham, North Carolina to take on the Duke Blue Devils of the ACC. Let's take a look at the national top 25 rankings going into today's games. Let's take a look at the Cowboys' beginning of the season recruiting board. And now our week one non-conference matchup as the Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West Conference take on the Duke Blue Devils of the ACC in Durham, North Carolina. Welcome to Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University and customarily a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys, taking on a team from the ACC, the Duke Blue Devils. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, and guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Blue Devils will get us started with the opening kickoff. On the move from inside is five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Cowboys return team didn't help matters out much there. And here comes their veteran leader. Of expectations this season. Yeah, and there should be expectations. This guy's been around a long time, knows the systems, knows the players. Everybody's going to have to believe in him for this year to be a big success. Yeah, David, there's just no substitution for experience, right? This guy has played so many snaps. He's seen it all. No doubt they need him to play at a high level. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. It's usually because of their lack of hands like you just saw. Third and six and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon.
looking for a block. It's Moore. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. So the Duke Blue Devils offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at to make an impact from your leaders. Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David. The, and, it, and the ball's on the ground. Oh, and he's able to get it back and saves himself a rear end chewing. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. They're getting this guy lathered up. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Jukes his way for more. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. The Blue Devils look to keep this drive humming. They're going to ride this running back. Discards a man. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. They'll send out the kicker here. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. No good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. its way out last time David it was one two three kick the last drive that three and out sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out I just think David too predictable that last drive they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels not much working there it'll be second and nine the big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. He wants to pass it on second down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. Looking downfield, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the right. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. He's got his man. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. He'll send out five wide receivers on second and four. On the move. And he's ridden to the ground, but there's also a flag down. Let's check the call. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty.
Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to the air one more time. Makes the catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but a good pickup on that play. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Oh, he dropped it. He had the pick in his hands and a chance for one of his patented big plays, and he couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. And the Cowboys will send off the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The ball hits at the back. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Right back to the well. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to run for it. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains and they'll mark it at the 44. And the Blue Devils are rolling down the field. They'll give it on the counter. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Hand off from the gun. Breaks the tackle. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. And that is how a punter deep in their own territory. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the big fella. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. And what that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's got speed, open field running ability. I think he's going to be a big part of the offense this season. The gift to the back. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Such a great job on the defense winning on early downs. What does that mean? Now it means third and long. Third and long, now I go to dime packages, to nickel packages. I'm taking linebackers off the field and bringing on DBs to really cover more guys and have more speed on the field. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically.
The offense lining up for a first down play. Hand off from the shotgun. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Looking for a productive play on first down. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. He looks that one in nicely. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. Work in the middle of the field. He knew he needed the rocket. Threw it in there. Great job. Great catch. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Using his legs at Scott. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off and really good vision there, just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. On second down, he'll fire. Catch in the middle, it's Scott. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Unloads to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. To the air. It's Svoboda. Zings it complete to the right. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that trick. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. We're going to make it that easy for us. They decide against trying the 52-yard field goal. Instead, the offense trying to convert a fourth and short. They'll try it on the ground. And the Cowboys get it past the sticks. And I've never met an offensive player who said, no, 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 we don't want to go for it on fourth and one. Fourth and one is a great situation for the offense. You've got to get one yard. You practice it all the time. you got to be physical. Go out and get it. They did a good job going out and getting that one yard. Nifty little dance step. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Cowboys! Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing him go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game.
Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. NC State has the lead right now. This team can really open up the playbook at times, but I'm not sure this game is over just yet. They're up by seven over East Carolina. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. <laughs> So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's Murphy. Makes the grab on the left. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And they're trying to dig out of the hole on second and long from the nine. He's looking to throw. Takes the easy throw in the flat. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Blue Devils will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Playing the field position game. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking to throw on second down. Chucked it away just as he was hit. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. Fires to the wideout. And the pass is intercepted! Never had a chance to get rolling after the pick, but he gives him the ball in prime field position at the 40. What a nice play by the DB there. When that rain starts coming down, the ball gets a little bit heavier. The quarterback throws the ball a little bit lighter. DBs can take advantage sometimes of some underthrown balls, go out and make some big plays. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. You know what? The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Caught in the backfield. It's Moore. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He's got the tight end. He breaks a tackle. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. To the ground to try to move the chains. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Grabbed behind the line, it's Taylor. 
And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Looking for a man. It's Murphy. He finds his man. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Duke! A great catch and run for six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, if he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he finished things off by racing 37 yards to the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by Plains, and they'll stop him at the 16. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Long incompletions are okay. We got to take shots. You got to make big plays in college football. I love that you're taking shots. Keep taking them. Some of those are going to come home. Some of them aren't. But when they come home, they equal big time points. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Don't just get the ball. Score with the ball, and the defense did. You know, the one thing that really worries head coaches coming into week one is ball security. You're worried about execution. This offense has done some good things early in this game, but you cannot put the ball on the ground because the defense will make you pay like they did right there, taking it all the way to the house. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. Here he comes from inside his own five. A coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. It's a good thing to be charitable, Jesse, but I think the last couple of drives might be overdoing it a bit. I agree, and I think at this point, David, the quarterback here, he's got to be a CEO, and he's got to really get his guys settled down. A couple turnovers in a row now. They've got to find a rhythm. A uh, CEO, a.k.a. Don't screw it up, young man. That's what it sounds like on the sidelines with the coaches. we got to stop turning the football over.
You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. He's going to pass. Pulls it in. It's Merritt. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. To the air, it's Svoboda. He uncorks a laser deep down the middle. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Find his man down the middle. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. Fast motion from the offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. On second down, looking again to throw. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. That was a nice swap. Even Dikembe Mutombo would love to wave his fingers side to side and say, no, no. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Still looking. But now he's swallowed up, and he'll be knocked down for a loss on the trick play. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package, and I can still get home rushing four? My guys up front are better than your guys, and we're going to go prove it. They did just that. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Pass is in. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Holds and fires complete to the right. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Use the play fake now to throw. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The back goes in motion. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Finds his big tight end. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. The Blue Devils have taken it inside the 20. Wants to throw on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. On fourth down, going to the air. And it's incomplete.
offensively in that situation, fourth down, you're throwing for it. Everything has to go right, or someone just needs to be able to make a play to keep the drive alive. They couldn't get it done, and now the offense is coming off the field. They'll go to the ground. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. And now let's see if the offense can bail itself out after the second down misfire. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Quickly complete. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And he knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. He leaves it with his back. Gets it out to the 40-yard line. Give him five on that one. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Looking for space. It's Scott. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, he's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. The Cowboys will punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's Moore. Tries to find a little more running. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. And instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. It's a legal block on the They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. It's caught. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They're strong, and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. 
Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. And the Blue Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. That thing was down for a Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Looking to throw at Svoboda. Throwing right. Got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down and bent. Out of the gun, the inside give. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. The give is to Williams. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And the Cowboys come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're going to run it. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Getting some heat. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job being the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to pass, it's Svoboda. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You gotta love that, on defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives live? Right there, tackling the catch, you gave up the completion, whoop de doo You've set up fourth and long, you're gonna get the ball back, go get some water and so. They've already gone for it a couple of times on fourth down, converted once. Looks as if they'll try a third. Unloads to the wideout. And the end. A first down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Got it behind the line. It's Collins. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. On second down, they'll take to the air. And he's lucky to get that one back. This junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. 
Guys, time has expired here in the quarter, and Duke is on top. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Wide receiver shows motion. Hands it off. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Back to throw, it's Svoboda. It's complete to the right. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? Wide receiver coming across in motion. Well, jet sweep pass. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to have to push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They keep attacking through the air. Fires to the big fella. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and of being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Power football with the run. The Cowboys pick up the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. In search of that tying touchdown. They've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. The give is to Williams. Going to be a gain of about three down to the 21. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. Unleashes one deep. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. The offense has got to find something here in the fourth quarter. You can tell pressing a little bit. They need that big play. They want that big play to try to make this game a better ball game. Took the shot. Unsuccessful. But I wouldn't be surprised if they take some more of those. Pocket starts to collapse. Here comes the rush. And they've got it wrapped up at the 28. 
And it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. That is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. He has stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Running with power. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The Blue Devils send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No return coming. He'll call. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down to throw. It's Svoboda. Working that left side now. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up and they'll move the change with the first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. Makes a grab and a nice gain. Gets it to the 35. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. Open space at the 25. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And you're going to hear this guy's name a lot. They're going to ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're going to build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're going to get a lot of big runs from this cat. They get him on the ground. A six-yard run in the red zone down to the 11. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Gonna run it, it's Scott. Able to get a couple on the play, he's down at the nine. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring, third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he's knocked down, but there's also a flag that's been dropped. Let's check on the call. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty.
Here comes the seventh play of the drive on third and eight. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. He's right on target. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle, and the guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up fourth. Game. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. And the Cowboys get it past the sticks. Probably the only people upset about going for it on fourth down, the punters, who don't seem to see the field as much as they used to. Not when you've got a running back like that. He just has like a sixth sense. He always seems like he can just find the crease, especially in these short yardage situations. He comes up with a huge play there on him. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cowboys. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. Getting set for the point after. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Michigan State has the lead right now. Feels like it's been that way since Sparty's run out, but this has been a nip-and-tuck affair inside Spartan Stadium. They are up by seven over Western Michigan. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. To the air, it's Murphy. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. It's a big stride inside the 10. Touchdown, Duke. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. Man, how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. They'll line up for the extra point, and at this juncture, every point matters. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. They're trying to get to him. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, no mystery here. Third in California late in the game. Defense knows they're going to throw it, so they're going to have a lot of guys back in zone coverage. And these guys up front are going to be pinning their ears back. Quarterback better have the clock. In. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. And third down for a defensive lineman. Trust me, I'm one of them is money down. Go get me that quarterback. Make the stop. Get him to fourth down. The 
defensive line, the defense was ready to rock and roll. Nice job. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Incomplete. Need to keep that drive alive. And the Blue Devils enter the final minute trying to drain the clock. Motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking for room. It's Collins. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. Touchdown, Blue Devils! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail beat Coffin. Great execution by this offense to put this game away. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And here's the return. And the returner will be dragged. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time. It put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, going for it all. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there. In this situation, you know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some... DB's back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. They're going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Fires to the middle. Ball in the air. And Intercepted. He was looking for that big return to go with the pick, but he'll set him up in business at the 36. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. And they're just about out of chances. The defense can stop it one more time as the quarterback takes a knee. A disappointing start to this season as they open 0-1. Tough way to start, but you see it so many times throughout a season. People start slow, figure out who they are, get better as the season goes on, and your dream's still very much ahead of you. And the sky's not falling right now. You're just 0-1. There's no need to panic. You don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. What you got to do is go back. You got to watch the film got to be honest with yourselves where could you have made better plays you got to limit the penalties you got to limit mistakes this team is talented they've still got a lot to play for so it'll be interesting to see how they come out next week so that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis saying so long this has been another presentation of ea sports college football
the Cowboys suffered no significant injuries in today's game. Next week's Week 2 non-conference matchup has the Cowboys traveling to Camp Randall to take on the Wisconsin Badgers of the Big Ten. 